know that I am. I'm constantly struggling with the weight problem. What you can do is you can say, as I achieve each step of the way, I'm going to get a certain kind of a reward. Now, again, I'm, I know this is a little bit trite, but let's just say that my goal this year is to lose 15 pounds. What I might do is say that uh, in four months, if I lose five pounds, then I'm going to buy myself, let's say, a new tackle box. And the tackle box that I've got, I've had it for years, and it's just one of those things that I've just never really gotten around to getting another one. But if I'll equate in my mind that I'm going to lose those five pounds, and I'm going to treat myself to a new tackle box. It doesn't have to be something very expensive. It could be something just kind of insignificant. It might be uh, a new set of pots and pans for your kitchen. Uh, take anything that you're trying to do. A, a good way to motivate families toward achieving goals is to take a weekend outing, a canoe trip, a retreat, or a, uh, a ski vacation. You know, if we can save this amount of money over our budget and then continue putting that aside in a savings account, let's continue saving. And we've always wanted to go to Colorado on a ski trip. Now, what that does is that gets everybody seeing that there's a reward mechanism. Something good's going to happen to everybody if we can achieve our goal. And that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to give ourselves a set of rewards. Now, one of the things that keeps me going, I travel a lot. I conduct seminars and work with people around the country. What I try to do on every last trip, and this is what keeps my morale up, this is what keeps me going, one of the, one of the many things, or many things that keep us going, but I try to say on every business trip, even as hectic as it is, I try to say I'm going to do at least one fun thing on that trip. Now. Sometimes people kid me a little bit and they say, well, you know, why'd you do that or why'd you do this? Well, I all, for, for some reason, for my makeup, it just seemingly keeps me going. I'll work three, three hard days in that particular city, but on the way home, there's a basketball game, a theater, uh, a football game in that city. There's something that you can do that just seems to cap it off. And then I have a good feeling about myself and I'll come home and, and I'll continually do, to do that. But use the whole idea of reward mechanisms. Reward yourself. Find some kind of a reward for literally everything that you're trying to accomplish. And if you'll do that and get other people involved in the rewards, it's going to help you stay on target. Now, one last thing as we conclude all these ideas on strategic planning and a personal planning is you've got to have somebody help you monitor progress. You've got to pick out somebody, write somebody's name down that you want to come to at least two or three times a year and say, here's how I'm doing. If you don't monitor and, and, and find a way to tell someone how you're doing will tend not to be accountable and report back. You've got to come to people and say, here's how I'm doing toward achieving my overall plan. And that's where the, where the strength of this entire planning outline comes from. If you've got a copy of your strategic planning outline, you want to review that with somebody and let them monitor progress. Let's go back and just go through a real fast review on everything that we did. Let's be sure we see the concept from the beginning to the end. Remember, we started out and we said, I've, I need to get to know myself better. We worked on the concept of a foundation. How do I view myself? How do other people view me? What's going on in the world around me? Staying up to date on facts, reading the newspaper, watching the television, uh, knowing what's going on in the world. We've taken a look at our strengths and our weaknesses. We've tried to say, who are the people around us that can help us achieve our plan? Then we've taken that forward thinking look. We've looked out there five years and we've said, where do I want to be in the future? We've backed that up to the first year and said, well, if that's where I'm going to be, then here's where I've got to be at the end of the first year. Then we've come back and said, now, what are some of those obstacles that I've got to overcome? We've gone to the trouble of listing those specific obstacles, and we've developed a game plan at attacking those obstacles. We're going to hammer away at every one of those obstacles and just drive the devil out of anything that's keeping us from achieving our potential. Okay, then we've come back and we've worked out a control worksheet. We've got a way of taking every objective, putting it on one sheet of paper, 
And having that as our guiding force, here's my objectives, here's my strategies, and here's every last action that I've got to take to achieve that particular objective. As things are done, we just literally cross them off. Now we've come along and finally then concluded every step of the way, here is a reward system. Here's some things that I'm going to do to reward myself to finish. You can achieve with a successful strategic plan for your life. Be enthused, continue dreaming, and continue working.